Hello, my name is Brittany Azam and I'm a director from Texas. I joined Cincy back in September of 2017 and uh, I was a very young mom um, on my second child and I just wanted to hop in and um, tell y'all, share with y'all why I join, where I'm at now, what's worked for me, and uh, just share a little bit about myself. So yeah, so like I said, my name is Brittany, uh, born and raised in Houston, Texas. I now live in Leak City with my husband, my three kids, and my one puppy. So I'm very busy. My kids are two, four, and six. Whenever I joined Cincy, my son was two and my daughter was um, not even a month old or she had just turned a month old. Um, so let's let's back up to 2017. So in 2017, I was 21 years old. And like I said, my son was two at the time and I just had a little girl. And from what I kind of understood, I was done having kids. So I was going through my son's clothes, all of his baby clothes, and I was boxing them up. I made a simple Facebook post like, hey, I'm getting rid of some baby clothes, um, boy clothes, who needs some clothes? And I had a, a girl named Marissa, uh, she is my sponsor. She commented on there, she just had her son. I believe he was either a newborn, um, he was still a baby, um, still a baby. So I decided to bless her with a big box full of baby clothes. And it's just funny thinking back, who would have ever thought, you know, what if I had chose someone else to bless that box with? Because, you know, people were flooding me um, with, hey, I have a child, you know, I need the box, I'll come pick it up. And not only, I had to mail this box to her, so I had to come out of pocket to pay for this big box of boy clothes to be mailed to her because she lived in another city. Um, but God just told me to give it to her. Now I know why. So um, so I mailed Marissa this uh, big box full of boy clothes. And as a thank you, because like I said, I didn't charge her anything, I just wanted to bless her. She mailed me a warmer and some felt samples. This is the first time I'd ever seen a warmer and that I didn't even know what these little felt samples were. Um, I actually remember messaging her, telling her thank you, but you know, what, what do I do with this? What, what is this? I knew what the warmer was, but I was curious about the felt samples. She told me what to do, you know, that yes, you can put the felt in the warmer, let them, you know, scent up, stuff like that. She said, I sell Scentsy. And I was like, well, what do you mean? Do you make these? Do you make these warmers? Do you make these wax bars? What is this? And she further told me about Scentsy. Also, ironically, as I'm mailing her these box of clothes, um, she went live and showed a warmer on her page and it just looked number one she was so confident um beautiful and very well spoken and i was struggling at that time in my life with my confidence and um, i'd gained weight and you know feeling bored at home if you will i mean i was very busy with my two children um but i was also bored bored with my life bored at home i wasn't um I was going to school to be a nurse, but that wasn't a dream of mine. It was just, hey, you have two kids, you need to support them, and the only way you're gonna make it in this life is if you're a nurse, um, because what if you and your husband divorce? What if this, what if that? So as I remember going to nursing school and crying because I just did not get fulfilled from it. It wasn't a desire of mine. It was just searching for money. So. Uh, Marissa went live and she showed this warmer called the Stargaze Warmer. Some of you know it, some of you don't. It's a beautiful warmer. It's a, still a classic to this day. Uh, I wish I still had the warmer that she mailed me. I, I think I resold it or did a giveaway. I don't remember, but um, I really wish that I kept that warmer. Um, it had crosses on it. It was boxed and um, had crosses on each side. It was beautiful. So anyway, so I put these little felts in my warmer. And back then I lived at my parents' house and they had a big room um you know probably half the size of what you see that's samson by the way um half a room of what you see right now and i remember this little piece of felt scented up that entire room and i was like okay this is working better than my bath and body works candles i was a huge bath and body works um person i mean 
every Friday you would catch me there in line trying to get the new releases, if you will. Bath and Body Works was my jam. All right, I don't want to ramble on, so I'm going to speed it up a bit. Uh, so I started asking her questions. Um, what is Sensi? What's the pay like? Um, you know, how much money do you make? I mean, I got all in her business. And, uh, and what I loved about her, she was very honest and I could trust her. Um, it didn't seem like she was just trying to get me to join because she might get paid off me or something because I did my research. This is not a pyramid scheme at all. No one gets paid just for you joining. Um, it's like a we thing, it's not a me thing. So anyways, I joined that night with what little bit of money we had left. I think we had $66 in the bank account and ironically, they were doing a joint promotion that month. If Cincy were not doing a joint promotion that month, I would not have joined because I couldn't afford the $100 kit, nor do I think my husband would have let me because, you know, back then we were young and this was the first time he'd ever heard about direct sales. So of course, in our young, in his young mind, it's a pyramid scheme and we're not wasting my hard earned money because mind you, I'm a stay at home mom. I'm not bringing money in. I had to ask him for money. So another thing I didn't really like is having to ask my husband for nail money um, to get my nails done, to go to Hobby Lobby, to even get a coffee if I wanted. I had to ask him for money. And even though he didn't mind, um, I, I had always worked ever since I was 16. And once I had Cooper, my, my oldest, I stopped working and I wanted to be involved in their life and stay in their life and watch them grow. I wanted to be a stay at home mom, but man, how can I make money and stay at home? Marissa was my answer. Cincy was my answer. So I joined that night with what little money we had left. And when I got that kit in, y'all, I started YouTubing before my kit came in. Shout out to Kimberly Poitwell. Put, put, Kimberly P. Um, I watched her videos and I followed it by the book. I, If she said go live, I went live. If they said make samples, I made samples. I read my front to start of the book. Um, I did everything. But I'm what you call like a slow beginner. I did it. Some of these people join and they sneeze and boom, they're like a director or something. But for me, it, it took me about three months to certify. I did not hit my first 500 in the first 15 days. I did not certify really quick. I did not build a team, golly, for a long time. Um, and I wanted to, of course, you jump in and, and it's not that you don't wanna do good. But my thing is I never gave up. And what I loved with, with who my sponsor is, is she joined a few months before me and she was already thriving in the business. But we also, we learn together and we, um, it's like we're ride or die, if you will. Um, with that said, who you choose as your sponsor is so important. Um, it could be life or death to your business. So um, I'm very thankful with who I chose and who I'm with. So joined Sensi, did all the things. I did the launch party. Two people showed up to my launch party and neither one of them bought from me. Um, in fact, I even did a giveaway at my launch party and so I lost money better than I gained money. Uh, in the beginning, I was scared to like uh, charge people tax and shipping. Why? I have no idea. Um, like I said, I was just new and I was just learning things. And um, I remember when I got my first paycheck, it was $75. And I, I did what's called a first fruits tithe. God told me Give me everything, give me this business, dedicate your business to me, and I did. I took that $75 and I tithed to my local church. I'm still a member there to this day. I'm, um, I'm the director with the children's church. My husband and I lead the young adults. Um, my husband's a minister there. He'll preach on the stage and do tithe message. We are very involved with the things of God. And I believe that me giving my business to God in the very beginning really helped me to where I am today. I always put God first. In fact, um, my foundation scripture for my business is Matthew 6, Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. So this YouTube channel, for instance, has been something on my vision board 
um, for, for a while now, but in December, right after Christmas, uh, the Lord told me, I want you to start a YouTube channel this year. Um, eight days after I had that vision, my firstborn son had a stroke. He's six years, he was five years old at the time. And we spent 40 days at Texas Children's Hospital. I was away from my four-year-old and my two-year-old and my husband, COVID's happening. Um, it was a very challenging time in our life, but it also made us stronger as a family. And I can honestly say that if it were not for Cincy, I'm not too sure what would happen because when I went through the hardest time in my life, my team had my back and they, they helped me with my online parties. They, they sent me um, a basket to the hospital um, with over $800 in there and a bunch of goodies, blankets and socks, uh, coloring books, things for my son. And, um, you know, I joined for the money, but I stay for the community, for the people. The people that I've met in this business, um, I would have never met if I would have never joined. And I'm, I'm forever thankful for my Cincy family. So I'm kind of jumping ahead a little bit. Um, so back up, I had a slow start with Cincy in 2017. And then I remember my first paycheck, I tithed it all. And then after that, my paychecks went up and up and up and up. I've never had a $75 paycheck ever again. It's only gone up and up and up. Now, now they might get like stagnant or they might be the same, but they've never gone backwards. And I give all glory to God for that because he's given me wisdom on how to run my business and what to do. So um, I promoted to director this past year. And um, if you're not with Sensi, that's a really huge accomplishment. I have a wonderful team of women who are just, I, I call my team Scent with Vision, S-C-E-N-T, Scent with vision and the reason i say that is because in order to be in this business you really have to have a vision of why and what you want out of this business so back then my my vision was just to have spending money and um to get my nails done and my toes done now i'm able to put my daughter in gymnastics twice a week i'm able to go get those coffees whenever i want I'm able to get my nails and toes done whenever I want. I'm able to get my lashes done twice a month. Um, and for my girls who get lashes done, you know, that's not, that's not cheap. Um, I'm able to save for our house that we'll be buying this year. So there's just so many things that Cincy's blessed me with. I also just earned my first incentive trip to Disney World. My husband and I went back in June and oh my gosh, did we need it. Um, like I said, we went through everything with my son, which by the way, if you're watching and you don't know, what happened that's kind of another video for another time he's doing well he had brain surgery back in march they said he would never walk again that he would have to leave that hospital in a wheelchair and i'm happy to report that he is walking he's running he's jumping and he's in first grade now and um it's just been a slow it's just been a slow process but we move forward every single day um so yeah so after the hospital thing happened got out of the hospital in February, January, February, March. I promoted somewhere in there, January, February, March. Man, maybe it was around April, March or April, I promoted to director and that's what shot me over the um, incentive trip. And my husband and I, because my, my son couldn't go to Disney World, he had just had brain surgery and they said it was too hot, too much walking. So my husband and I took the trip and I did not, Feel guilty about it one bit I enjoyed every second and if it were not for Cincy and for clicking join four years ago this month um, I would have never got to experience the happiest place on earth if it's always been a dream of mine to go to Disney so um, I don't want to ramble anymore but that is my Cincy story and um, I just celebrated my four years with Cincy and I'm excited to see what this year brings this is my first of many YouTube videos. Like I said, this has been on my dream board um, since uh, Christmas, and it's taken me almost a year to finally make a video. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be posting many more. And, um, and if you're thinking of joining Cincy, give me a call, give me a text. I'd love to chat with you and answer any questions that you have.
All right, y'all. God bless.